guys. What's up guys, Procaster here. We're doing a Lysworn Dragon Ruler deck profile. This guy came third in uh, last Saturday, and yeah, time to get it on with it, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so, what's this two Curry Bandit? Yeah, why, you, why not play three um, Lysworn Rulers? I now realize that I should. Okay. I, I played two because I didn't want to draw more often, because I dropped Allure from this, so. But now I realize I need to open it more because I brick otherwise, so yeah. Um, we're playing Light Spawn, so Triple JD. Yes, yeah. And since we're playing Light Spawn's Honest, as well. And then, since we're playing the Dragons, Tidal, Tempest. Uh, why do you play Tidal and not Redox? Um, I did this on Saturday because I was playing a lot more Dragons, so this was live a lot more often, and it's been sick. Oh, yeah. But I'll probably either drop this for a Redox or drop it completely. It's, um, it's really dead quite often. So. I, don't, I don't mind it, but yeah, it's not necessary. Hey, did you ever use its um, affected? No, I, yeah. you can't. Yeah, because there's no water monsters. Yeah, there, there, are, there are no ways to activate the in hand effects of any of them yeah. at all. <laughs> then, uh, three Lumina, two Raiden, <laughs> two Lila, <laughs> then all the multiple lights. <laughs> then, Aaron, uh, that's a good out to Azure, the, a dragon to make. First turn Azure as Silver Dragon. The blue eyes one. Yeah. Blue eyes and gray, yeah. yeah, you just make this and it just, it's an out, so. Um, Jane, just a name, Gareth, one wolf, and then two light ray Diablo. Um, it's got really good, I'm surprised no one's played this. I played three on Saturday, yeah. this has changed it. Um, sticking with two that I like to. Three Eclipse Wyvern, this Light Swan Ruler. And then three Necro Gardner. That's it for the monsters. Like 26 monsters, I think. Something like that. 28 monsters. 20 monsters? It's a 40 card thing. And spells two Soul Charge. A Book of Moon. Charge of Light Brigade. A foolish Burial and three Recharge. Pretty standard, really. Um, and then for traps, one Phoenix Green Wind Blast and three Needle Bug Nest. And how do you find a Needle Bug Nest? I really like it, but I mill it a lot. Yeah, so, I um, But when I do draw it, it's really good. It sets up plays a lot. I might cut, cut it to two uh, if I look nuts, but. Play a third Curry Bandit? Sorry? Play a third Curry Bandit to cut a Needle. But no, no, I don't know yet. I haven't 100% made my decisions. Okay. Uh, extra deck? Extra oh, side. Um, probably got extra to that side. Alright. So, exceed. I play one Engineer from Libya for rank 3. Exciton from Black Ship 101 from the Barber Chain for rank 4. A big guy. Two Draco Sack. And the band for my big dudes. They're big and they're really good. <laughs> and then Synchros, one Michael, one Arcanine Magician. Yeah, why do you play Machina? Um, Because you can make it and it's like spot removal. Um, for stuff like. Um, I don't know, stuff I can shut you down, like Soul Drain or. Imperial Iron Wolf, things like that, it's out after that. Without necessarily making Black Rose. Because sometimes you can make this when you still have a board, so. Very right, interesting. Speaking of Black Rose, a Black Rose. An Ancient Sacred Wyvern. It's kind of really good. I've never made it though. I made it once, but that's it. And a Scrap Dragon. Uh, why didn't you play Thought Roller? Because I don't like Thought Roller in this deck. I thought it would be really good because it's some monster effects, but then I read it wrong. Um, it was like we're targeting one sidekick on the field. Yeah, I thought it was just that. I thought it would be really good against the hands, so. but it's not. <laughs> like, I might consider it, but I don't like it at the moment. And then three tokens. Strong. Is that a Bandai? Yeah, it's a rabbit horse. Okay. And for side. Huh? And was this the side you played on Saturday? Uh, yes. Cool. Yeah, it is card for card, the side I played on Saturday. Two Raikou. Why do you side Raikou? Uh, it's really good in the mirror and it's really good against hands. Makes them mistimed. So, and um, 
Yeah, it's also like a good out to Evil Swarm if I haven't played them. But like Evil Swarm is never really an issue for this matchup, really. Um, triple Maxi. Triple MST. Triple Decree. And Triple XYZ Universe. Do you like XYZ Universe? Yes. I love like, this card. Like, like it really? Yeah. I think it's an amazing card. It makes all Gigan Smith's timing. Like, it's really good against really bad players and against Rogue. Oh. And Gears. Like, I, I would either side this or Black Horn. Oh. Um, but I think this is better. The Black Horn? Yeah. Because um, you essentially get a free Felgrand or a free Dracus out of it. Okay. And it, like, the meta here is like, full of like, vampires and stuff. Like, all the bad players play vampires. Nobody plays vampires. There's, there's like, like, five people that play it. There's two vampire players in Perth. There's like, five, because I've played heaps of them. And okay. it's really good against them. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, do you have anything else to say about your deck? Um, there are changes I'd like to make, like... Um... I really like this, I might bring this up, bump this up to two. Yeah. It's, it's really good. You have a lot of cards that will just die in your hand, like Necro um Yeah, and Wolf. And Eclipse White as well. Yeah, so I want to run two of this. Yeah, I, I would really recommend that. Um, what else is there? Like... I don't know. Like, I originally played this at 3 and it clogged like crazy. Was that Raiden? Yeah, Raiden. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know. I also might play Minerva, because I played Minerva on Saturday and it just opens Mistworm, and Mistworm's awesome to make. Because you go Lumina, Lumina, Minerva, and you just make Mistworm and just go wee. And, yeah. Because obviously this deck's all about blowing up the board and then game. And like, I don't know if I want to drop title yet or not. Yeah. Like, it's really subpar a lot of the time, but... Yeah. I've actually noticed, what are you signing against the Mirror? You know, so you don't sign like Diddy Crow or... Um... Oh, the Mirror? Yeah. Um, I side two Raikou. That's it. <laughs> That's like the only cards you cited in the Mirror? Yeah. Like, I cited Book of Moon on Friday last week. Yeah. Um, and on Saturday, actually, I played Book of Moon instead of, I think... Yeah, I played uh, Side Book of Moon and uh, I think the third maxi. Um, I think. Yeah. And is that everything? Well, is there any other decks you want to know what I side against? No, it's probably like Mirror is like the most common matchup now. Um, well, that and also. It's like. Uh, Pure. Yeah, so like, when I'm, when I'm like, the mirror is more like pure as well. Like, anything with life swarm. Yeah, I'm, I actually think pure is more consistent than this. This is more explosive. So yeah, this is a lot more explosive, whereas pure is all about um, slow um, pluses and stuff. Uh, like, all pure decks are like more consistent than like the um, experience. Like, Gigi or Karaku, like, pure Gigi is better than. No, pure. Is no, but pure. Gigi, the reason that that's better than Karakuri is because it allows you to make floats as all your board floats, yeah. whereas in Gigi Karakuri is more about, ah, oh, look, I have a board, here's game. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but like, I think Karakuri is a lot more explosive if you know how to play it properly. Yeah. You have to know how to play that deck properly to do well with it. So, yeah. And that's it. That's it, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment just like in the area below me. And subscribe for more Yu Gi Oh! videos. This is Pro Custard signing out. Also, I am Requiem Empire 40 